So, you've decided to save your home before putting it on the market for sale, but you're not sure what your options are for getting it done. Don't worry. I'm going to go over the options in this video so you can make the best decision based on your needs, skill level, and budget. Hi, I'm Dave Bulova with the Dave Bulova Group. When it comes to staging, it's like the three musketeers. There are three, but there are really four. If you've seen the old movies, you'll understand. And if you haven't, you'll just think I'm crazy, but maybe I'm dating myself. Well, let's just start with the three most common options of staging. You could do it yourself, have your realtor do it, or hire a professional stager. And the fourth musketeer, I mean option, is virtual staging. Do it yourself. Definitely one of the most cost effective. And if you have a keen eye or even watch rehab shows on TV, you could be on the right track. Make repairs, repaint, freshen up a room or two, rearrange and or remove furniture, declutter, remove most of your personal pictures. Imagine the stairway just leading up to the second floor of grandma's house with floor to ceiling photos of everyone in the family. No, you want to avoid that. And a new pillow or throw on the sofa just to add a pop of color, some fresh flowers, great smells. You can see where I'm going with this, right? Ask your realtor to do it for you. This is sometimes a good option, but not all realtors have the eye for staging. They know what needs to be done, but they are not really sure of how to get there. Not to pat myself on the back or anything, but I'm pretty good at it and I have an interest in it, so that helps. Um, I almost didn't have a choice since, I don't know if you've ever met my mother, she has bad skills. I'm also a certified staging consultant, so I think I could help you out. I are a professional. This is always a great option because it's their passion. Depending on your current decor and budget, a professional stager may be the way to go. But be aware, it will probably cost you anywhere from a thousand to, well, God only knows. It can get pricey depending on the level of your needs, time on the market, how much furniture you need to rent, how long it's going to be there. Just definitely get a quote. It's worth it in most cases, but it may not be right for every situation. And on that note, since I'm a certified staging consultant, I'm pretty good at helping you decide the best plan of attack. Also, depending on the scope of the potential work that you're gonna to have to do, I'll sometimes pay for my professional stager to meet with you and make suggestions and a plan. From there, we can decide if it's in your best interest to hire that professional to do it for you or just do it yourself. The fourth option, which is virtual staging. This is so cool. And if it's done right, it looks amazing. It's great for vacant homes and homes with great space and a great vibe, but it costs too much to get on trend. This is something that some amazing photographers offer, mine does. They do take a picture of the room, they add the furniture, the pictures, the plants, knickknacks, paint color, et cetera, to showcase the home, and you can see what it looks like. So when we market the property, we use both the pictures side by side, your, your space, how it is, and the virtually staged space. It's about 75 bucks a photo. I hope this video helped you out. Feel free to share it with anyone who you think it may help and who's thinking about selling. Please follow the link to a free home value report of your home. And as always, feel free to reach out to me directly with any questions. Make it a great home selling and buying day. This is what we do, who we are.